I'm trying to keep all the survivors alive. Honestly, I... It's usually more of a headache than it's worth to keep them all alive, but, you know, I want this to be, like, just to show it off and whatnot. But at the same time, it's like, man, I do not miss Dead Rising 1's AI for their survivors. Like, at all. Oh, yeah, so now the rank cult, uh, the uh, true eye cult will be seen here. So as I was going to say for them, uh, they've got some deadly attacks. They've got... Uh, they have knife attacks. Uh, if they're dead and damaged, they can sometimes get back up and start running at you with a suicide bomb. Uh, they can grapple you. And they could even throw this dust on you that will knock you out. You don't want that to happen. If you get knocked out, they take away all your shit and any survivors with you are considered lost. It is very much a bad time. So I don't recommend that happening. So I usually just stay at a distance, or if I do have to go in, I'll go in with the chainsaw and just take them out instantly. Thankfully, our next encounter shouldn't be too difficult. We're just back in the North Plaza now. I actually want to go on here because that goes forward. It'll make me go faster. There we go. Hey, It's the Mega Man costume, isn't it? I told you it was vintage! Enter probably the least threatening psychopath battle. Well, psychopath is a harsh word, but she's not difficult. She just has one attack. Ram you. But as long as you just, you know, lightly move, she can't really do much. That does mean kind of... Trying to, like, slash her is kind of a pain. But you could also just use guns. Oh, she can also shoot. That I wasn't aware of. But yeah, she's not too terrible to take, count, take down. Oh, unless the shot goes straight through her. Okay, I'm going to have to actually aim for this, aren't I? There we go. Two Mega Buster shots. She's down. Oh, right in the mega balls. You listen to me. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to talk. Now, what do you know about all this anyway? Are you a reporter? Let go. I won't run, so let go. You're hurting me. How much do you already know? Have you called for help? Hold your horses, babe. I'm the one asking the questions here. What is Santa Cabeza, and how is it connected to all this? The zombies were created by you, not us. That's what Carlito wants you all to know. Who? If you want to interview someone, talk to Carlito. He has all the answers. You're talking about that guy that took pot shots at us with a sniper rifle, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe. Take me to him. No. Not now. He's injured. And in no mood to talk to anyone. Eh, he just took a graze in the shoulder. He'll be all right. I was there. I'll bring him to you once he's recovered. I can persuade him. I'm his little sister, after all. 
Why should I trust you to bring him to me? The zombies are a message from Carlito. He wanted people to know. Fine. Go. When will you be back? Tonight at midnight. Wait for us in the store next to the camera shop in the North Plaza. I'm Isabella, by the way. And I promise, I'll come back. Uh, you can tell by the way she swings her hips. I'm attracted to her and something I don't know. Uh, 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 staying alive. All right. Plus side, though, with Isabella beaten, and I can now call her by her name, she left her motorcycle for us. That was nice. Whoop. I was going to say, now we can quickly cruise through this area. All right. Convicts are still on the prowl. Where are they? See them from here. Draw distance, making it a little bit weird to see if I can't see them or not. Is that them? Uh, I can't tell. Oh, well, I don't see them, and that's uh, typically a good thing. Alright, means I don't gotta worry about them for a bit. Oh! I need over here. Thank you. All right. Now we just got to wait for some more scoops to pop up. And, uh, yeah. We're probably going to take care of a few more things. And I'm going to call this session an end. Hi, guys. See, this is what I was talking about, though. These guys... Oh, there we go. Suicide bomb. These guys technically count as psychopaths. But for achievements that say, defeat so many psychopaths, they don't count for those. There we go. Alright, uh, yeah. How much longer I got to hang around for? A little bit longer, so we'll pass through the warehouse, maybe look for some queens. There we go. Spot an old man. He's in the antique shop in the entrance plaza. Uh-oh. Uh, he seems awfully calm considering the circumstances. All right, antique lover, active. Uh, there's a woman taking cover inside of a children's uh, clothing shop in the entrance plaza. Things are looking pretty bleak in there. Might want to lend her a hand. All right, give me a second. These guys are pissing me off right now. There we go. We get to a place safer. Actually, I might go save real quick. Uh, spot a guy in the cosmetic shop in the entrance plaza. It looks like he's trying to get out of there, but someone's taking shots at him. There must be a sniper positioned over there. He won't last long like that. Mark of the sniper. All right. I was just waiting for that to proc. Those are the three, uh, three scoops I was really waiting for, so let's go. And thankfully, they are all located in the entrance plaza, which is right next to us. How helpful. Looks like 72 yards. I can blow his head off clean from here. 
Can I take a shot, Dad? Getting a headshot from here is no big deal, Jack. Think you can pull it off, Thomas? But, Daddy, he ain't no zombie. He's just a man. Thomas! We're doing this to survive. You know that. Using a firearm for self-defense is our God-given right as Americans, Thomas. Come on, Thomas, shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him, Thomas! I said shoot him. Shoot him, Thomas. Now! What are you waiting for? Do it! Meet the Hall family. As you can tell, they're not crazy. They're just... They're just the typical take uh, take advantage of the zombie outbreak. I'm kind of sad Thomas isn't savable, though. Thomas doesn't seem like he actually wants to participate and do this. It's more so Roger and... Uh, what the fuck is the other one's name? Uh... Uh, J yeah, Jack, that's it, who want to uh, participate in this. Thankfully, their snipers aren't as powerful as... Aren't as powerful as Carlito, so they don't knock me down. There we go. And Thomas is the worst shot, so he's easier to take off. You get the fuck back here. There we go. Also, unlike most of the, uh, most of the, uh, <laughs> most of the psychopaths, there's no cutscene for their death. They're just dead. That's it. All right, we'll go save the guy that was being shot at, Wayne. You still alive? What happened to the snipers? What are we doing here? Don't worry about them. I took care of it. No one's going to shoot at you now. Really? We should get moving before some other weirdos show up and replace the snipers. Let's go. I was waiting for a tough guy like you to take care of business. Get me out of here, man. Can do. All right. And next we're going to do the woman who didn't make it. Oh, no. She's downstairs. Ugh. Right. Fuck me. Okay. I guess we'll go hit up the antique lover then. He's upstairs. He'll also take the longest. The only plus side of this is getting out of Entrance Plaza is going to be way easier than fucking trying to get out of anywhere else. Come on. There we go. Antique store. Not a chance. You look like you're still human. If you're still a human, then you surely see the beauty in this work. Sorry to get in the way of your hobby there, pal. But this is no time to go antiquing. I'm hopeless anyway. I might as well spend my last moments enjoying this. If I'm gonna die, I'd just as soon do it surrounded by great works of art, don't you see? I figure the world owes me this much. The chance to choose the way I die. I know a guy who's coming here in a helicopter on Friday. Come with us. Can you really guarantee that leaving this town would be better than staying? I'm so damn old. Even if I get out, I don't have much time left. Staying alive doesn't have much appeal for me anymore. Just let me die surrounded by my art. Listen, old man, can you honestly tell me you want to die here? You wouldn't regret it? You appreciate R too much to mistake this junk for sale in a mall for the real deal, don't you? You can't really consider this crap to be art. I've made better art in this uh, than this in the can. Come on, pal. If we get out of here, you can see a museum again. Well... Well... You might be right, son. Maybe I don't want to leave after all. Or maybe I do want to leave after all. What do you say, whippersnapper? You mind helping an old man like me out? Really Alright, Floyd has joined. Go. Come on. Alright, 
I'm just going to tell them to wait here because I've got to come back up here anyways. There we go. Hang 10 right there. This one's going to hurt. I can't drop from this. Ugh. Oh, hey, a queen. Or it wasn't. It was just looking up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. There's a queen. There we go. There we go. Here's this chick. Hey, you. Help me out, will you? My friend Rachel, she... Yes, yes, yes. How tragic. Please get up. What? What happened to this Rachel girl? She got left behind on the second floor in Lady Space. The zombie probably al zombies probably already got to her. You see Lady Space, right? I'll go check on her. Wait here, okay? Wait. I want to go too. Take me with you. Come on, hold hands. There we go. That way I can lead her there. And she won't follow my marker this way. Was oh, that another queen up there with that guy? I'm gonna go snag that. There we go. Oh, now I'm out of items. Room. Damn. Uh, there we go. She's technically still going the way I need her to go. So it's actually not too bad for me to just let her run there. Because the place she wants me to go to is actually right across from where I told them to stay. Because it's almost like I've played this game before. A lot. Although it has been a long time since I've played this game. Get away from me. No, get away. Jolie. Fantastic. I'm so sorry I shouldn't have left you behind, I Thank you. It's okay, Jolie. You came back for me, and that's all that matters. I'm sorry. Rachel, uh, I'm sorry. Any chance I could get you ladies to continue your conversation in a safer place? I'll escort you to the security room. Follow me. Oh. Alright. Alright. Wow, Floyd can actually pretty move on his own. I don't know why the fuck I was worried about that. Alright, let's go. Follow me. Thankfully, there's not usually any zombies up on the second floor. I don't know why. And then getting back around to that corner there where the uh, Paradise Plaza is won't be too hard either. It's more so just hoping that the AI doesn't fuck up along the way. I, really owe you one. I hit the wrong button. Worst case, they get caught. I have uh, queens on standby. So it should be fine. Go. There go. There's Rain. There's uh, Wayne, Rachel, Jolie. No. Don't worry, girls. Got you. Let's go. Whoops. No way. There we go. Let's go. Ignore the fact my hand is broken. Seriously, look at this. My hand is just outright broken. Then again, her arm ain't doing much better, so... And Floyd can move for a for an old timer. Make me waste my queen. There we go. 
Let's hope they're close enough. Uh, yep, they were all close enough. Cool. Uh, Frank, Ronald's starting to panic about the lack of food around here. Uh, he's going to group people, scavenge for some, better bring some food back, eat quick before they get themselves in trouble. Shit. All right. Uh, there we go. Actually, they might be able to just wait there. It'd be perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine here. Okay. Just wait right there. I'll be right back. Don't put me off like that. I know. Hurry it up. I panic about the lack of food. Bring some food back. There we go. Ronald's appetite. This is what is called... I forget what this type of scoop is technically called. But basically, a couple times, depending on how many survivors you've saved, depending on the survivor you've saved, there will be missions involving your survivors, and you could lose groups of survivors if you don't complete it in time. There we go, let's get... I think Rachel's probably too far away. And she was. But she's got pretty decent health, so we can just bounce back. Come back. Let her come up to us. There we go. Always abuse the loading screens to get rid of zombies if you can. Come on. All right. There's Wayne, there's Jolie. Don't worry, I'll carry you, Floyd. Oop. What happened there? That was weird. All right. Now, thankfully, there shouldn't be too many of them. Their AI shouldn't fight over who gets up here. But, of course, of course, Wayne knocks everyone off. All right, there we go. And that's everyone. I really owe you one. We're going to live the rest of my life to the fullest. And it's all thanks to you. Damn right. Gotcha. Oh, what's going on? You learn anything new on this end? Santa Cabeza is a stronghold of the Central American drug trade. The professor here seems to think that the zombies are a byproduct of these drugs. So you're telling me what? That somebody spread a bunch of zombie drugs around Willamette? For what? What would making the dead come to life accomplish? They're terrorists. Don't try to explain their actions with logic. I've analyzed the drug in question, and I've reported my findings to the government. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like it could be a government cover-up at all. Off. <coughs> they, they didn't want to be <coughs> exposed. <coughs> Sure. I've told you everything I know. Now get me out of here. <coughs> Call for help and kill those creeps. <laughs> okay. Sure. Whatever you say, crazy man. And he's just back there. Okay. Uh, where is Ronald? Uh, he's there. He is. 
Hey everybody, I'm getting out of here. I'm gone. I'm leaving to track down some food. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but I really wouldn't recommend doing that. Shit. Screw you, jerk off. You fooled me. I only came here because you said there'd be food. Well, where is it? I sure don't see any. Shit, we should have had just enough to cover everybody's meals. What happened to that? That isn't enough. Not to toot my own horn, but we eat like three times more than normal folks. You can't leave us a freaking appetizer and expect us not to shovel up and die of hunger. Of course, you got a secret stash set aside for us, and that's a different story. Yes. Eat it, fat ass. Food! Food! I love food! Thanks. Mutiny averted. So yeah, Ronald was prepared to risk everybody's life just because uh, he wanted food. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi, guys. Who's in here right now? Oh, quite a few people. Why is Leia in here by herself and Natalie and Jeff? Weird. But I think that's going to be where we take a nice little nappy bye right now with my chainsaw in hand. Yep. So, next time, we're going to see what Isabella has promised with us, and we'll be moving on into the last day. Well, technically, we'll be moving into the night first, but we are heading towards the third day. Will we be able to survive? Will we learn the truth? I mean, yeah, we will. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Anyways, that's going to be it for now, guys. So, until next time, I will catch you all later. Hasta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.